Hey guys, David here. Just came back from Japan last night and um, I've spent probably about two and a half thousand dollars of money on fishing gear. And today I'll probably be just showing you guys what I brought home from Japan. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. It's going to be raw, it's going to be on the new iPhone X. So hopefully it turns out alright. I'll be grabbing them out of the suitcase, so don't mind me if I bob my head up and down. <laughs> All right, let's start. So, so I went to probably like five or four stores around Japan, including eight fishing from different states or suburbs. Um, I went to Jumbo in two places, but that store was alright, it wasn't too bad. But majority of my spending was in eight fishing, Osaka, and a few other places. Um, yeah. So, first up is five jigs, five squid jigs, Yuzuri. These guys were 500 yen each, with the price drop that turned out to be about six say about six or seven dollars per jig and they look pretty good they've got a red belly foil and green top show you guys don't mind me pretty ghetto set up to be honest uh, there we go how's that pretty good buy for 500 yen each so yeah that's the first thing. Put them to the side. Up next. Up next is. See if we can find it. Sunline machine cast, 12 pound. Thought it'll be a good line for the. Um, Cardiff, I actually bought a Cardiff home, but it's only a medium spool, so I'm hoping 150 meters is enough. But yeah, that was a pretty good buy, it was probably about $12. Another thing I bought was tongs for edging for the yakkers because they're slimy. Some people don't like touching them, keep it clean with tongs. I also stopped by Tackleberry. Um, we found, oh, I think it's Braden. I don't think it's Keystone. But I found this guy for 800 yen with no tax, which was pretty cool. Still fairly new. This is also second hand, guys. So, yeah, something a bit different. Eight fishing in Kyoto, Eggy Mari 4.5s. Now, I went over there just to try and find five OGs that looked decent, but all, whoops, all I could find was bloody hard body ones made by Yamashita MH models. So, I saw these at um, Kyoto eight fishing and I jumped on them. Pretty cool. I've got some arging stuff, some jig heads, a couple of magbots of plastics for my mate Matt. Matt, hope you like these. And I hope you're doing well the gecko pigeon. Now, I know in Oz, in my area, local area, it's a bit hard to find a Sahara. But yeah, I bought a Sahara home, 2500 model, standard school size. That's what she looks like. I'll wind her up. This reel is going to be my yak reel. I was actually supposed to buy two, I only had time to bleed and buy one. 
but this reel is my yak reel. Cheap, affordable to replace, why not, eh? Not bad. The Cardiff, one of my favourite reels. My aim was to go to Japan and bring one of those home. And um, I did. Uh, 3,000 compact, looks like a two and a half. Um, what else can I tell you about it? It's on the, the same, I think, same, or on the same price range as a Stratic CI4 and the, yeah, Stratic CI4. What's up with this handle? What am I doing wrong? There we go. It's a, uh, Smooth as hell for a reel at that price range. Hey, Garni Gear, which is the Shimano bloody thing nowadays. Um, yeah, medium, compact, medium spool. Good reel for land base. Again, where I can't let it touch the salt water, which is good, because I don't want my reels to bloody get ruined. But that's a gem, a favorite. So keen to get some squid on this. So I'm filming this all raw, one take hopefully. No bullshit, no nothing. Keep it simple. Probably better. Uh, this is gonna be crazy. I went to Jumbo in Shinjuku, paid 1200 for the new Eggy O Lives. And I bought heaps. So I went to another store in, um, that box is gone. Went into another store at, um, I think it was Osaka. Lua, one barn lure, and they were selling them for like 800 and something yen, so I pretty much got ripped off, being city wise, but they're the new model, so that's a good one for Australia, mad looking one. Yeah, I bought heaps, this is only, this is not even all of it, this is just the start of it. I've got every single colour, I bought deep models, shallow models, which I'll show you, put them aside bloody crazy this one was just a odd one because I went to buy yeah I bought I went to Tackleberry in um, Shinjuku bought two rods but didn't end up being um, over tax free so I had to add something in so I just added a three and a half three and a half uh, clinch in the Tiger Stripe model this guy's deadly as hell in Australia um, I'll just put him on the back wall. Do, 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 do. Need a hang. It's gonna get big, guys. There's so much stuff. It's ridiculous. One barn, eight fishing. That's their bag that they pretty much um, gave me. That's the first little bag. Here's a bloody whoop, upside down. Here's the bloody second one, and that's all filled with jigs. Let's open it. Damn, this is nuts. I've spent so much money. Oh, these are the Yazuri. Uh, pata pata cues every single color look at that so nice every single color I'll take them all out 
pull them all out on the bloody table, make a bloody mess. Leave that down there for now. Um, yeah. Every single colour in the bloody chart. That's a pretty cool one. That's another one. Sorry about the glare. A lot of pinks over there. What I've realised in Japan, they use a lot of bold colours. They don't stick normally to natural colours like in Oz. Which is a bit different. Well, stand out, right? One you can stand out the squid. That's another pink one. I'm not sure that's doubles actually. Could be. Um, two more. Pretty cool. Stuck them up. This tiger shrimp one, looks like the Sephia clinch one. I uh, thought that was pretty cool, had to get one. I think it's Chimera. Blue Glow. Yeah, there we go. That's a new one too, new colour that just came out. Orange one. Couple more pinky rainbow belly ones, the old school style. Talk to the oldies back in the day that fished off Mornington Pier, the good old Vietnam boys. They'll um, know about the bloody rainbow belly. Everyone loves them. A few more natural colours and orange. So much stuff, it's ridiculous. A few more. Last final three. Bring it up close to the camera so you guys can have a look. My lighting in my room's a bit bad. I'm hopefully gonna get an upgrade so I can film me a bit more because this room's my fishing room. I've done the floors myself, the setup and the layout myself. Just hoping it's gonna be a bit better soon so I can film in you a bit more. All right, first bag done. Uh, Yazuri Pata Pata Cues. Next bag. Oh, whoa. Gamma Katsu. Gamma Katsu. So the Gamma Jigs, they're not big in Australia, right? They're only a Japan thing. Um, and my little sister's bought me some home in two and a halfs. And these two colours here, dynamite. I bought an extra one in the teal colour because me and mate Tom lost one. Bloody whoever's found that jig's lucky as hell. But yeah, extra one for Tom. Bought a couple of the new colours which you can't get in Australia. That's pretty sick. This red one's my favourite though. Look at that. Jesus, squid candy. This one's a bit different. Bloody ugly colour, I don't know why they made that for, I don't know if it even works. But that was 990 yen, probably about 11 bucks, cheapest chips. People's, before I left, people said, oh, it's more expensive, it's more expensive and stuff. But it works out, like, if you work out the drop, like price drop in currency, it actually still works out to be a bit cheaper, say three or four bucks. But a lot of things over there I've found we couldn't get in Oz. So it turns out to be, the stuff over there is a bit rarer, pretty much. And like the Yozuri jigs I first showed you, they were 500 yen. You won't be able to find those here, which is pretty cool. All right, let's continue on. More Yamashita shallows. New colours too, which is pretty cool. And deeps. So I pulled out the shallows and deeps in this bag. Some of the boxes are a bit damaged due to my suitcase. Let's ram everything in it. Right, this is sick. So much stuff. Go down. 
So the Yamashita one's deep and shallow. They've got different colour eyes. So one's blue. Good old blue. Oh, the glare, the reflection, the blue eye. And that red eye, which looks pretty sick. So these are new apparently. They only just came out. Check out the colours from the original, see if they're different. Slightly altered. Um, that's another one. There we go, no glare, a bit of glare. And up closer. Yeah, there's too much glare on that. So those three are deeps. These three, this would be a slayer. Everyone would love that colour in here. Look at that, sick. Another one. Here's another one. That's a that's the same colour as the normal one. This guy. Oh, slightly altered too, a little bit. Orange one. Another orange one. This is ridiculous. Got so much stuff. And the shallow set, which is same colours. The shallow set, the colours are a bit different. Same colours, but the pattern's a bit different. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Sorry about the glare, there's heaps of it. Can't help it. That's another purple, which is pretty sick. L2, pretty mad. I'm gonna shoot it from this angle now with the jigs because there's no glare on it and you guys can actually see clearly. Yup. Lucky last. Don't fix the box a bit. Pink, rainbow belly, stripes. Just gonna move this wallet and keys. Oh, Alright, what's next? I don't know how to pronounce these, Carabiners, I think so. At the Daiso shop, 100 yen, right? For these, and the rope bit, 100 yen, 200 yen, that's what? Two bucks. Bought these, made it for two bucks for the app, just to hold the rods on in case they get bloody taken into the water. So that's a pretty cheap buy, 200, oh, 200 yen. Makes out to be about, what, $3. In Australia, you'd be paying a bit more than that. Definitely. No tax too, guys. Bought a fly rod, so I bought these. Um, they were what? 800 yen. Cheap as chips. There's some scissors. Or forceps. These are one. From eight fishing in Osaka. Funny story though, because I bought majority of the squid jigs I bought from that store, right? And the retail staff, the girls, they saw me pick per jig for per cart and throwing them in quickly, and they were pissing themselves laughing. And then I ended up paying for everything, showed them a few photos of what I've caught in Australia, in Melbourne. And then we started like connecting, talking about it. They started talking about sashimi, eating sashimi. Yeah, it was a pretty cool experience. How we just connected on photos. But yeah, I won those off a of comp. One days off a of comp. The dual carabiner cloth also won off a of comp. Pretty cool, free stuff, man. Not bad. Next up. Uh, I can move this, let me zip it together and I'll uh, show you. Columbia, big brand fishing. This bag was 130 yen. 113,000 yen, 130 ish in Oz. Thought it was a cool bag to buy. Opens up with a zip. It's got holes for scissors, pliers. This isn't even a fishing bag, but I bought it because it could be. 
And yeah, thought it was a pretty awesome bag to buy. Colombia, Japan. And go down. Gonna open up another zip. This thing cost me a hundred and something bucks. Palms gi giant bait, three hundred. This thing was sick. I actually didn't want to. I actually didn't want to use this. I just bought it for the bloody shelf. But look, check it out the craftsmanship and paintwork on that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, this thing would be a killer for tuna, I reckon. Tuna, Spanish mackerel, to jump all over that. So that's pretty cool. Palms 300, giant bait. Next thing, these cases by, who is this boy? From what I remember it was Deutsch, Deutsch or Deutsch or whatever, don't quote me on the name pronouncement because that was freaking bad. But yeah, these were, I saw these at um, Shinjuku and they're about 1400 These are only 1280 yen. So I bought two of them just to put the squid jigs, which is pretty sick. Hopefully these videos are not going to be too long. It's already on 21 minutes. Next thing, packaging is a bit damaged now. Oh well. I bought a couple of knives, so I bought a sashimi knife for 25 bucks. Narihasaku. Narihasaku. So yeah, I bought a sashimi knife home. Sorry about the packaging, it's a bit bent. That's pretty cool. And I bought a filleting knife. Big one. Yes. That one was $30, I think so. Yep, $30, no tax, pretty sick. All right, two more bags and the rods. All right, two more bags. What's this one? Itchy Barn Sports Fishing, eight groups. So same chain, but Itchy Barn. What did I buy in here? I have a look, I can't remember. I bought some other stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sub shooter, sunline, 10 pound, 300 meter spool for the Sahara. That'd be a good good line to use. Fluorocarbon. Just opted for fluorocarbon now for some reason. What else would I give you? Oh, Q Finace. New. Yeah. Oh, that's sorted. Here's another Eggio Live, which was in there for some reason. Let me go on the side. So there's going to be more of these, the Q Fin Ace. So that's two. As you can tell, my table is like getting clogged up with jigs. Q Fin Ace New by Yuzuri. Bought that over here because it's not much, not enough space. These were a cool find. Eggy Maru Shallows, two point five jigs. I saw them, so I grabbed them. Pretty cool. Keystone looking style. Banana jigs. That'll be pretty cool. Just when the squid are a bit more shy on a full moon and they don't want to attack, they'll switch I reckon I'll switch over to these guys. Because sink slow, which is good, and they're still pretty beefy. Last one, oh, yellow head, white colour. Alright. Another bag. 24 minutes already. Jesus. Mario again, another one. Yellow hair, doubles. 
You gotta buy doubles when they're rare. More Hufi Nice. And another Yamashita Blue. Packaging screwed. Eggio Live. New one, new model, blue. Dynamite colour, guys. Gotta let you know. But yeah, here's the next batch. Cufian Ace. Yazuri. Pretty cool. Don't even know where I'm gonna put it. Just put it there. Pinky green. The colours in Japan are really bold like these. What the hell is gonna eat that? Absolutely crazy colour. Rainbow. Coins cliff colour, rainbow. This blue colour was pretty cool with a bronze head. Green. I'm not sure how the squid's going to react to that, but I don't know. Oh well. Another one. Purple. Gold, natural colour. We call it the King George Whiting colour. That one's pretty good. And that one. Alright, so that's all my stuff in my suitcase. So I'm down to two rods now. Yep, that's all sorted. The rod caused me a bloody hassle because I got it through check-in. I got it through as a carry-on. And then I got stopped, they told me to bloody check it in and I was worried about the bloody rods breaking in the case. Because this is a... This side's hard, that side's soft. I had two rods in there too, which didn't help. But yeah, I said, it, I said not to bring any rods home from Japan because of, of the hassle. But when I saw the price, I said screw it. Just go for it. So, first thing up is... I can get it out without bloody breaking it here. Cross Age, Trouble Rod, S764, so solid tip, 7, seven foot 6, 4 piece, ultra wide. Uh, made for Maribu and Rockfish, but in Australia, whitey or edgy. But yeah, the Cross Age, small. Grip, EVA, pretty nice, still new, guess how much, checked on eBay, buddy 120 something bucks, bought it for 120, cheapest chips, uh, white solid tip which is pretty cool, very thin, like very very thin, I also have a Benki, which is a stiff as rod for lure from, but yeah, so that's me cross age, next thing is, that on top, getting bloody messy. Oh, don't fall. Gotcha. So lucky. Next thing is a fly rod. My first ever fly rod. I said I was going to buy an Orvis, but when I went to Japan, I saw this guy sitting down there just waiting for me. 40 bucks. Check that out. 40 bucks, cork grips, uh, wood handle, fairly good quality. I'm not sure where it's made from. I couldn't find any info about it, but it was called, if I can find the bloody proper part, Solve Something. Solve Something. Don't mind me while I struggle to get my stuff out. That's another piece. Good, nice, goldy olive colour. Where's the bigger piece? Let's get that one. Yep, it's this one. It's called Soul River Traveller. Nine foot five weight. So it's my first ever fly rod, right? And I don't have a reel yet. And I'm looking at getting it. Able's reel for it. 
on the piece. Awesome. $40. And I ch checked online to see what other rods I can find by them. And they were roughly about 140, 130 per rod. Some are like 75 bucks too. But couldn't find any info about them whatsoever. Which is pretty, this is pretty cool. So if anyone knows anything about Soul River fly rods, please comment down below so I know where to find some info about it. But yeah, five piece, nine, five piece, five weight, nine foot. Hopefully try it on some trout, try and get some flathead on it, because, oh, there's another piece. It's a six piece, Jesus. Um, hopefully I can get some flathead on it, because that's one of my goals. Pretty cool. And, yeah, whoops, that's all the stuff I bought, hope you enjoyed the video, I'll show you the aftermath on the table of how much stuff I have, and yeah, make sure you comment, subscribe, like, stay tuned for more videos, my editing's a bit eh, but I'll keep it raw, keep it stu simple stupid, yeah, no, keep it simple stupid, Something like that. Oh well. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time.